Hey everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks, and in this video, I'm gonna challenge myself for about three or four minutes to only play these five notes. But I'm allowed to bend them to other notes, I'm allowed to slide into them, I'm allowed to play them together at the same time, separately, and I'm gonna challenge myself to work on articulations that really bring them to life and really just try to hear new ideas. I'm going to try different articulations, hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends, double stops, palm muting, but ultimately just trying to play things that I like the sound of, trying to tell a story. And I invite you to play with me. But I'm hoping to just inspire you to realize you don't need much to tell a story. All right, here we go. I'm going to stop talking. Well, I'm leaving space after each thing I say. I'm going to leave less space. I'm going to take one rhythm and just keep playing it over different notes. That's my rhythm. Da 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 da. Double stops. All right, now I'm just, I want to really hear the idea and then play it. Da, 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 da. Okay, now I'm just going to try to hear it in my head.
<laughs> I played one note outside. I forgot for a second. being playful just playing with one finger doing slides right I'm just gonna do some more weird stuff So hopefully you had fun jamming along with me and I'm going to leave some backing track at the end and also link to the backing track in the description that I used. So now I'm just going to go a little deeper on all the techniques you saw me use and how you could start working on those. But before we get into it, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all of the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. And if you want to be notified of any new lesson, be sure to also tap that bell and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see in future lessons. That's where we're always looking for ideas. But basically, we have the notes, and then we have things we could do to bring them alive. We could add vibrato to them. We could slide into them. Right, we could bend them. until they sound good, right? Typically this one, we bend to the sound of this note, up a whole step. This one, we bend to the sound of that note. This one, typically we bend up a minor third, so up to the sound of the 13th fret. Right, we've got different picking techniques, you know, picking quietly and maybe palm muted. Or heavy and varying that right uh, we've got hammer-ons pull-offs you know I did something that's a good thing to practice just take this the top two notes and do one pick hammer-on pull-off and then you could do that on the next string But instead of just doing it real, like, you know, that's to me, that's pretty over the top. Very rarely, rarely would I enjoy playing that, but I just did it to demonstrate. But I like to do things like, you know. So this way I could vary the rhythm. I can go ba da ba do boo da ba da ba do ba. Like if we think about language, certain words are slow and monosyllabic and others are faster with lots of syllables. So mixing together, you know, ba da ja da da da, right? It's more, and I'm not going, you know, I'm not picking all the notes. I'm just hammering, hammering them on and pulling them off, right? We've got those double stops. I like to call these pentatonic stacks. And then we have these kind of bend pull-offs. Up, down, and pull off. Very classic bluesy thing to do. Right, so some of what I'm playing is kind of finger techniques I've learned from learning lots of riffs. And some of it is just trying to play what I hear. And what I hear is from listening to lots of music. Um, 
But see if you could sing all these notes. Da, 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 da. And then the bent notes. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And then just see if you can anticipate the sound that's going to come out before you play it or hear it and then play it a micro millisecond later. So much so that you could sing and play it at the same time. So something like. That last one was way off. But now I'm going to do it again until I get it. There we go. Right, so just I'm practic I'm trying to build build the connection between my ear and my fingers. So that I know what's going to happen. All right, everybody. So Less is more. See how much you could really get just out of that one pattern. You know, challenge yourself to come up with new ideas and not get bored. And, and most of all, most important thing is don't judge yourself. This is a creative freedom activity. You're just a kid in a sandbox, just playing with the sand, seeing what happens. You're not performing for anyone. Unfortunately, we often get in this mode where we feel like we're performing for ourselves and we're this critic. We're a critic at the same time we're trying to create and it's just getting in the way of being creative is because we can't just put down that critic cap while we're exploring and getting creative. So have fun with this stuff. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want to learn more about playing guitar, head over to guitartricks.com. There's a library of high quality song lessons. There's step-by-step -step courses on guitar fundamentals, blues, rock, country, a guitar toolbox, and so much more. Happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.